X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. To stop tyranny? Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and that special report that we just played from Alex Jones is now live at YouTube as well as at InfoWars.com. About the global collapse has begun. And how is it coming to us? It's coming to us through these open borders, through NAFTA being made an accomplished fact. 20 years after they passed the law, after we've had a couple of decades of industry being moved out of this country. Now, I'm going to go back to your calls. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Kenny in Texas, but before, I'm sorry, Kenny in Florida. But before we do, I wanted to tell you about uh, our new Molon Lave belt buckles. This is a limited run of only 400 of these buckles, per 500 per color. They are numbered on the back and say made in 1776 on the back. This is the same design, this attractive design you've seen on the T-shirts that we've got. It's a beautiful buckle. It's a great conversation starter, and it's a way to support our operation. We're not funded by the government like MSNBC and others. Uh, we're funded by selling you products that we hope you enjoy and that you can use, things like uh, Fluoride Shield which we have a 25% off special on at the InfoWars store as well. Now, before I go to your comments, I just want to kind of summarize some of this hypocrisy that we've seen. Think about these things that are happening with the collapse of the border. Think about the fact, as we've got the story up on InfoWars.com, we've got Texas small towns that are being bankrupted because they're providing humanitarian aid to people coming across the open borders and yet the federal government gives them no money. Meanwhile, the federal government is giving half a billion dollars to Syrian rebels to start a war there. Then think about those same Texas small towns that are panicking because they're suffering from violence, gang violence of these same people that are coming across. Are they getting any help with protection? No. Still, Obama is talking about sending not 300 troops, but now 500 troops. And we've also had a lot of people in the military tell us that their entire units are being deployed back to Iraq, to another war. 
Look at the fact that we have U.S. kids, especially middle class kids, who are not going to get in-state tuition in any state they choose to go to. They're not going to get full ride tuition as illegal aliens do, as their children do. No, if they want to go get a college education, they're going to become indebted slaves to the government. Meanwhile, someone who doesn't live here, who hasn't been paying taxes for these universities, comes in and gets a full ride or in-state tuition. Look at the criminalization of U.S. kids even playing in their yard. As I pointed back out back in uh, September 2012, we have uh, a family where the kid was playing in their own yard. They got visited four times by the police, twice by social services. Just this last Friday, we had a father who was arrested because his kid was skipping church and a half mile away. So they arrested the father. And yet they're telling us that they need to uh, encourage these kids to come across the border to run the gauntlet of drug cartels and pedophile prostitution rings, that that's not child endangerment. No, when you let the child play in your own yard, if you're an American, that's child endangerment. But when Obama and Pelosi encourage children, encourage parents to send their children across the border through these dangerous times, that's not child endangerment. Look at dignity and respect. Pelosi goes to the border and talks about how we need to do this for the dignity and the respect of the children. What about the dignity and the respect of children at TSA checkpoints at the airport and elsewhere? What about the dignity and respect that's owed our veterans at the VA? They don't get dignity and respect. They get put on a waiting list that doesn't even exist, and they die on this waiting list. Told that they're on a waiting list to get treatment, but they don't even get that. And then finally, look at the hypocrisy of the war on drugs and the war of terror, using that to create a militarized martial law, police state, surveillance state in the United States, and yet the borders are wide open, allowing any terrorist, any drug cartel to freely travel back and forth as they wish, bring anything that they want back and forth across the borders. That is the blatant hypocrisy of this planned takedown of America that is going on right now with this unprecedented collapse of the border. This is not a crisis. This is an opportunity, as Pelosi said. That's the way she sees it. All right, let's go to uh, Kenny in Florida. Kenny. Hey, David. Great show today, man. If you guys are mainstream, we could turn this thing around in a month. Well, uh, we, we hope to. I hope you all support us at uh, Prison Planet TV. But, yes, thank you. Go ahead. I don't remember, but I had one question. Why doesn't the governor of these border states call out the National Guard when they have absolute authority to do so? And yes. I'll listen offline. Thank you. Well, that's a good point. You know, why, why doesn't uh, the Congress impeach the president? Why don't they do anything? Well, the simple fact, I think, Kenny, the answer is, is that the Republicans are as big a part of this NAFTA takedown of the United States and the planned economic collapse as the Democrats are. I think that's why they're not doing anything about it. I think they're perfectly fine with what's going on. I mean, there's some that aren't. But for the most part, they're doing this for NAFTA. They have bought into this. They believe that it's an accomplished thing. It's been in the law for 20 years, and now they want to see this happen. They fundamentally don't have a problem with it any more than Pelosi has a problem with it. She says we've got a community that just happens to have a, a border that's not really effective anymore running through it. That's the way Boehner and these other people think of it as well as the governors who are really not doing anything. We've had a token effort from the governor here in Texas, but that's all it is, is a token effort. And most of them haven't done anything. I don't think uh, the, the Republican governor of Arizona has done anything about it. Let's go to uh, Jeff in California. Jeff? Oh, hi. Actually, it's uh, Joe, but I, Sorry. you know, the, that's okay. Technology got to love it. Um, I've came to the realization especially in light of the recent uh, happenings down there on the border, is that there are people, they've, you know, they're here, they've been here for a very long time. The government, they're not going to do anything about it. Uh, I, my bad, you know, if that, if that wrestles any jimmies. But the point is, is that those that are here right now, it, I, if I knew Spanish, I would be down there at those shelters right now, educating them on the fact that this government is just as BS as their government that they fled. And the goal would be to essentially wake them up and turn them against big daddy government. We could teach these people to become independent, right? Exactly. Not depend on government handouts. And that's the key, then, Brendan, then, when you said if you spoke Spanish. See, I believe that that's a large part of why they're bringing them in. I believe that they want to get people as early as possible who 
are going to be as difficult as possible to assimilate into the country because they want to bring down a collapse, because they want to fundamentally transform America, and they want to give these people a free ride. They want to give them lavish uh, welfare on them so that these people will be loyal to them. I think that's what's going on. I think that's an important point of what's part of what's going on. It is a battle, but I think that's the difficulty is that we don't speak Spanish and that they're going to bring them in and educate them away from their family, away from their culture, and certainly not connected to family and certainly not connected to our legal traditions here in this country. Uh, let's go. I, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. You want anything else you want to add? Oh, but my, you know, my point is, is that, that that is the case, but there are individuals who are aware of what's going on that do know Spanish that mm -hmm. uh, can, you know, they can at least make a dent in that. Oh, absolutely. It's an information war. We haven't necessarily lost that information war, but it, it makes it even more difficult when they bring in people that speak a different language and when they bring in very young children. You know, that's the thing. Always, You've always heard the phrase, you know, give me a child when he's the age of fill in the blank, a very young age, and he's mine for life. That's the point of government education. That's been the point of government education since the time of Plato's Republic. Now that goes on steroids. And, of course, there's also the fact that they're trying to bring in people who, if they're at a young age, that they're not going to be able to support themselves because that brings about an economic collapse, an economic crisis. And crisis is always an opportunity for people like Nancy Pelosi and uh, David Petraeus and others who want to fundamentally change America. Thank you, Brendan. In Idaho, let's go to Ronnie in Texas. Ronnie. Thank you, sir. Yes, my comment is that Ross Perot's phrase of the giant sucking sound, thanks to so-called president, so-called peace prize, has become now a deafening roar. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What do you think we should do about it? <laughs> well, we ought to uh, see if we can get Ross Perot in the White House somehow, or we'll wish back that we or just think about it. Just imagine if Ross Perot had been allowed to win. Well, here's the thing that, that concerns me, Ronnie, and that is that if we look at the way they rolled this thing out, they enacted it as a law. And people, if they had enacted it as a, as a law, as, as NAFTA, as a trade agreement, if they had done that and immediately opened the borders like they're doing now, do you think that would have woken people up? I think it would have. But instead, what they do is they enact the law and they let it set there. And they believe that that gives it legitimacy over time. And what I'm concerned about is the things that we've seen with FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, uh, the fact that they have these secret court decisions, the fact that they have the NDAA. They have put the infrastructure of tyranny in, and they're going to exercise that just like they exercised NAFTA. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live 
with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.